This is a video about um, laser and mirrors, um, like the one in the background. Now this is just on a bit of um, oak that I've routed out for the mirror to sit in with an LED um, rubber strip light behind it, um, which is secured to the wood. And then it's on a USB end, so if you want to plug it in your computer, you can plug it in your computer. And you can also put your charger plug on for your phone. Now mirroring mirrors, there's different types of mirrors. We have this sort, which is a, quite a thick mirror, but it's a filmed back mirror. So you will have a layer of plastic over the top. So when you're lasering, you'll think you're getting nowhere. It's because you're trying to laser through the plastic before you even get to the actual mirror layer. Now, obviously non-lasered. Lasered, the first two letters and half of the second third letter is been lasered twice now we'll show you the front and you can see that it hasn't actually worked properly because you've still got to laser through the filament first before you get to the actual mirror so I mean that's twice over and it's only just showing so don't get disheartened when you try it and you're thinking why isn't this working it's because Depending on what mirror you've got. You've got this sort. You've also got this sort, which is a painted mirror. This is dead easy to laser. This is what this was done with in the background. You can also produce this yourself, which I will tell you how to do in a second. Um, now, this is really great for lasering. I've got another mirror I'm going to show you as well, which is um, a painted one, but it's a different colour. Sometimes if you look on the back of a mirror, you can tell, and you can also tell by the thickness. The thicker it is, the more expensive the mirror would have been originally, and the more likelihood it's a filament mirror versus the painted mirror. This is another one which is painted. Um, it's been The first section has been lasered twice. The second section has been lasered once, and you'll be able to see what I mean with the light. And... Let's see. Front. Obviously, if you don't have a light behind it, it'll just look black. Um, and when you're doing these, the more line count you have when you're lasering, the more solid that it'll appear. So you won't get your lines in it. You will if you look really, really close. But the more lines you have, the longer it's going to take. But the better quality of finish you will get. Um, also, in another video that I need to do as well, don't forget your laser beam is, most of you set it to your bed, so it's pinpointed and it's your bed. Don't forget when you put these under, or anything for that matter, your laser beam is going to be out by the thickness of whatever you put under it. So a little tip is always, always have something that's the same thickness as what you laser in. Pick your, print, uh, pick your laser up, put a piece under each foot, whatever you laser in, and then your laser beam will be obviously pinpointed on the item. Because I get a lot of people say, why is it, it look a bit funny, out of focus, because your beam's out of focus, because you've, you've changed the height. So a little tip, just put some underneath your feet that's the same thickness. Which is why I sometimes have offcuts, um, so I can I can do that um, without a problem. Now, if you want to make your own mirror, this stuff they sell it in most countries, as far as I know. Um, if you live in England, Wilco sell it, and also B and Q, different prices. So check. You can also buy it on Amazon. So pretty much you can buy it from every country. Um, it's called Mirror Effect and it's silver. You can get gold as well. I am actually going to do another video and I'm going to get some glass. I'm going to spray the glass and then obviously I'm going to show you what this looks like on sprayed glass and then lasered. But I'm going to do two different colours. I'm going to go and pick the other colour up. The other type of mirror that you can get if you live in the UK. Power Shop are selling these at the moment, as you can see. The laser pretty well um, it is a white back one tip make sure you clean 
where the label was where you the glue is because if you notice you get a different burn on it so make sure you always clean that just be careful you don't scratch the mirror if you do scratch the mirror either making one of these or one of these if you scratch a little bit or for whatever reason something happens you can repair it with this um, it, it dries literally in seconds so if say for instance I was finishing this and I scratched here or something on the back not a problem tape off this on the opposite side spray it with this you'll never even know the scratch was there now never laser that way because your beam will reflect back up into the laser and destroy it always laser on the back no matter what always laser on the back um, the other thing that you can do which is if you if you haven't got wood tools and stuff like that and don't want to make stuff like that that's fine you can get these now uh, this has just got my daughter's handprint from when she was born in a case um, these you can buy at Hobbycraft loads of different places Ikea sell them obviously you can drill either the side or the back put cable coming out put your LED strip in at the bottom or put it all the way around or across the back however you want to do it and take this glass out and either replace it with a mirror or spray it with this so technically you've made your own mirror then um, your lighting is on the back so it'll be dark when it's not switched on and then it'll be see-through when it's switched on um, my best advice is put the, lay, the LED strips around the edge so when you do see through you don't see the lights behind it depending on how much you've lasered so yeah these are dead cheap um, can be made in various different sizes I mean you could make them yourself if you um, could do woodwork this is a mirror I made ages ago it's a bit too big to fit on the camera as you can see um, now if you want to make these it's dead easy as well so what I've done on a router table is run this wood along let me just show this side I've run the router along a router table and just done a line literally like that so you do your all the way down all the way across all the way down all the way top when you screw it together you slide your mirror in from the top so your top mirrors the last piece and what you can do is you can leave a little ledge like I have here so you could fit an LED strip behind it power source light it up you can get battery powered um, LEDs as well um, if you live in the UK um, pound shop sell them well 99p shop depending on where you live um, also Primark sell them as well the LED strippings with the battery packs you can convert them to um, plug if you really wanted to um, but they do them as well any other questions just feel free to message subscribe um, ask this was all done with a endurance laser this is a 2.1 watt laser now I'm actually going to put a link in the description at the bottom of this video and you will get $50 off an order for a laser using only that link. So if you want some money off the laser, click the link, buy the laser through the link and you will get um, $50 off. I'll be doing more video reviews on, and um, how to laser different things. My next one will be Slate. And how I get a really good finish on um, my laser and I'll just quickly show you one now as a sneak peek to the next video this one was done earlier this is uh, for somebody that asked me to do one now as you can see it's a really high high finish um, but don't forget like I said raise your laser to whatever thickness your engraving so if it's that thick you need to raise the laser up by that thick you can use card or you can use more of the same object anything like that but uh, yeah 
pop in the description, have a look, get some money off your laser. Um, if you need help setting it up, message me. If you're struggling, join the group. I can send you the link. I'll post it in the description as well. Um, there's lots of us out there to help with different types of issues. I've had problems with my boards um, and all sorts. So I'll be doing other videos on how to fix that issue or or whatever you may have. If you've got a problem that I haven't talked about, message me and I'll, I'll try and help you out as well. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Have a look at the website. Have a look at getting some money off your laser if you want to buy one. Um, ask me some questions on how to fit it. That's not a problem. Other than that, have a pop over to the Facebook and have a look and enjoy and have a speak to us before you even buy. That's that's fine. Anyway, till next time.